Well, in just a matter of hours, we'll have our first moon landing in more than 50 years. Yeah, last week we celebrated the successful launch of a commercial mission bound for the moon carrying scientific instruments for NASA. Later today, that cargo will land near the south pole of the moon. Yeah, here to talk more about this mission and what comes next is NASA expert Chris Colbert. Welcome to Houston's Morning Show. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Well, this is very exciting. Set to land later today on the lunar service, which is so amazing to think about. Can you tell us about the delivery and, and how it works and, and how it's all going to go down? Sure. So this is a little different for NASA. We didn't build this lander. Uh, this was built by a small company called Intuitive Machines. It's actually a Houston-based company. Um, and they'll be delivering NASA payloads and NASA instruments to the moon. Um, so it's their, it's their mission, it's their responsibility. They built the lander, they bought the launch vehicle, and they're running mission ops. We hope to learn more about the moon through the instruments we've given them to take to the moon for us. Some of the goals of the CLPS lunar deliveries. Right, so part of what we're doing here is helping to establish the commercial infrastructure, give American companies a chance to partner with NASA to establish the capability to go to the moon. NASA is very interested in taking people back to the moon. Our Artemis program hopes to land people on the moon before the end of the decade. Um, and we'll have a series of larger missions, but helping us prepare for that, we're partnering with commercial companies to help build up their capability mm -hmm. so that they'll be able to provide to NASA and to commercial customers down the road. Now we understand that the delivery today includes six science and technology instruments for NASA. Can you tell us how these types of deliveries go to help pave the way for that future exploration to the moon that you just mentioned? Sure. So a couple of, I, there's a number of instruments. All of them are helping us learn more about the moon. I'll give a couple of examples. One is a radiation sensor. Uh, once you leave the Earth's atmosphere and outside the Van Allen belts, radiation in deep space is a much more troublesome uh, thing. So we'd like to learn more about what it's like on the moon. So we have one sensor that's measuring radiation both on the way to the moon and once we get to lunar surface. There's a couple of other instruments that are looking at how lunar dust behaves. Uh, lunar dust isn't anything like dust on the on Earth. It's very different, and we're trying to learn more about how that might affect future human activities. And finally, there's a retroreflector. It's a small instrument that lets us determine exactly where on the moon the lander is. That will help us plan future missions and future landings. So all of this is to help gather more information to prepare for future human missions to the moon. All right, well, where can our viewers go to watch this evening's landing and learn more about the future lunar exploration? So a great place to start is NASA Plus, or you can go to NASA slash, uh, nasa.gov slash NASA TV. Both of those places will be broadcasting what happens during the landing live, and they'll be access to a lot more information about these missions and other Artemis missions to the moment. All right, fascinating yeah. stuff. It's just exciting to see what is to come. Thank you for taking time with us today. Thank you very much.